Hello friends and welcome back. My name is Chris. How the hell are you? Today we have another unboxing for you and uh, it's a little bit uh, special. It is the first component in, uh, in a custom build that I am uh, working on. Uh, perhaps you've seen it in the title. Uh, we're talking about the Corsair 5000D Airflow. So it's uh, a very big box as you can see. I think uh, the weight is around 13.5. Five kilos, not uh, not exactly sure, but you will find the uh, exact specification in uh, in the descriptions. So let me uh, first uh, have a look around the, the the box, and then we will uh, open it up. So uh, here, a very clear description of uh, representation of the box, uh, along with uh, the naming and uh, the type. This is a mid tower. I decided to go for, for uh, the 5000D instead of the 7000D because, well, it was cheaper, significantly cheaper actually. And um, as far as I'm concerned, the, the only difference is, uh, is the size. And of course, uh, a lot, this means a lot more room uh, to, I don't know, put some custom radiators on there for uh, custom loops and so on. But uh, I think I can manage with the, uh, with the space that uh, the Corsair 5000D uh, airflow provides. So, looking around the box, we need to be careful so we don't, uh, so we don't drop it. I have to make sure that everything is in, uh, in focus. So, on this side, let me try to, to zoom in. Nothing particularly interesting, some uh, descriptions, some details, yes. If we turn it around, then this is the, the most interesting uh, part of the box. It's a very detailed uh, uh, actual breakdown of the of the key um, uh, components of the of the chassis itself of the of the of the case. So uh, we'll not look uh, too into depth in this because we will see the, the unboxing. Okay, again to the other side. Uh, the most interesting part here is this one. Uh, we have a glass panel, we have the black one. Uh, as you most likely are aware of, uh, the Corsair lineup of uh, 4000D, 5000D, 7000D, which is the, the full tower, all come in uh, whatever color you, you want. Of course, if that color is uh, black and white, of course. Okay, so we've got a look around the case. Uh, the top is not that interesting. So uh, let's start with uh, the actual unboxing. Is this? Let's put it into into focus. This is the the manual. Safety and uh, one nut details. How to take tear it down? Not very important. Learn as we go. is not good. I'm not liking what I'm seeing now. Mm. 
I have to take this off because I think. Let me show you. I think this is some sort of damage, so I have to have to check. Take it, uh, take it down. This is actually damage, but I will take it off. Okay, guys. So let's uh, get into the into the box itself, into the case. Sorry. Uh, let's turn it to this side, and let's see what uh, what the hell is going on with uh, with this uh, hit. I saw that the box in which the case came took quite a quite a big hit, so I am hoping that this is not cracked because yeah, I, I will be very very upset with uh, with the shippers. Yep, so it looks like, let me get the... Um, not that noticeable, but still, this is uh, very upsetting, because as you saw, it was very good and well packaged. So somebody will be getting a, a poor review from, from my side. Okay, so uh, no damage to the actual glass, but still uh, very close to, to it. And this is actual glass, I think. So, uh, yeah, a uh, very, very poor remark. Actually, I think it's broken. Holy crap, I think it's actually broken. Okay, so let's take it off. I'm not sure how to do this. Huh. You motherfuckers. So the so the glass is chipped. Okay. Okay. So clearly this is going back, and it's also scuffed. Yeah, this is going back. This is a return. Clearly, it's a return. So we are back. Uh, unfortunately, as you probably uh, just saw, we had to return the previous case. Uh, it had some uh, shipping issues, both on the side glass panel. Uh, at the center, it was uh, a little bit scuffed and one of the corners was uh, was chipped, so we could not uh, accept that. That being said, uh, the guys that uh, we interacted uh, with were uh, very forthcoming, very helpful, so we have no problem uh, getting a replacement. And with that replacement, we will continue uh, right now. So let's have a, a quick view around around the case. Expected for for any damage to the to the panel. Okay, so so far so uh, so good. Let me uh, take the camera and uh, provide you with the three uh, sixty in uh, in photos, basically.
So let's see what the Corsair 5000D has uh, has to offer. Uh, this is the front panel. Basically, comes out like uh, like this. Some uh, some pull tabs. This looks like uh, looks like metal. Uh, behind it, you can see this uh, this mesh filter, which comes out like uh, like this. It's a very um, Hmm. It's a very nice uh, weave, let's say. I'm not sure if you can see, it's a fine, fine uh, mesh. Behind the mesh, uh, in the box, you will see just one fan. As you can see, you have one, one mesh uh, here at, uh, at the middle. But uh, when we will build uh, our uh, our computer, we will replace this because this is a uh, non RGB. We will have here, I think, uh, uh, three of them, three Corsair RGB, maybe uh, 140 millimeter fans. Okay, so this is at the front. How uh, this is how you also put uh, put the the components back together. There are a couple of slots here. You put first. You insert it here. I think I inserted it correctly, and then it just snaps into place. As you saw, this has uh, has uh, magnets. It's not a complete magnet uh, strip here, but it does have some magnets around it. So, again, you put it uh, first at the bottom, you insert it, and then you basically do nothing, just approach it and uh, it comes together. Again, same, uh, same approach with, uh, with the steel panel. Uh, you line it at the bottom, at the top, and you then press, and there you are. And also the same uh, behavior or the same way of removing the panel at the top. One, two, and it is uh, and it is removed. Again, uh, if I remove these small strips. Throw this out. Here you will see, not sure if you can see, but I will show you. You have another magnetic uh, filter. This is not as dense as uh, the one in the front, of course. So they offer you this pull tab and uh, as opposed to, to this mesh, this one has magnets all, all around it. What it is interesting, as you can see, or not see actually, the, the magnetic strip is black and I think, uh, I have to check, uh, don't quote me on this, um, you will, uh, on the white version, the, the strip itself is white. So, uh, kudos to Corsair, very nice um, eye for, uh, for detail. Let me get the uh, get the camera here at the top. You can see you have enough space to to work with the uh, various sizes of uh, radiators, uh, various sizes of fans. Uh, we will of course use uh, um, a radiator here. I'm not uh, exactly. Uh, sure on the size because I'm not exactly sure what I will find uh, available for this uh, for this build. Now I think it's time for the side panels to to come off. Oh, almost uh, took down my uh, my lighting. So. You have here a couple of uh, screws. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, you can see that they have both some uh, some grommets in uh, in yellow. So it's a black and black with yellow accents uh, built. 
So let's now take off the panel. Basically, you will pull from uh, from the side. I'm very nervous. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so uh, the panel pretty much comes off like uh, like this. Uh, again, as the uh, the rest of the panel, it has some uh, some places uh, where it uh, makes contact here and uh, below. Uh, so you don't necessarily need the, the screws to keep it in place, but it's nice to have them. It's a very thick glass, so uh, also surprised how they managed to to crack that uh, uh, the original one. So let's put this to the side and see what else we have in the box. Okay, let me also reposition the, the camera for a better uh, better view. So again, uh, what I'm liking uh, with uh, with this box is the the attention to detail. So you have here the Corsair logo. Let me see if I can zoom in into that. And as you can see, also you, uh, the the yellow the yellow accent. So uh, these little details I find very appealing, very, very nice to, to find, uh, while they are very minor, of course. Zoom back out. And let's see what else we have here. So uh, at the bottom, let's start at the bottom, we see uh, the, the shroud for the... Um, power supply and of course any cables that you would uh, would like to hide the power supplies it has some uh, some ventilation uh, at the front here you have another panel uh, this is useful again for uh, for hiding uh, things cables of course but it could uh, interfere with whatever you want to want to do maybe some uh, some radiators that uh, because of the shape they want it so this part from from the bottom up until uh, here it is metal this is of course plastic uh, you have to take out some uh, some screws to get it out, so I'm not sure if I will do that. Um, right now, moving uh, moving up, you see here the the um, uh, video card uh, slots. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slots, and also two that are uh, that are vert vertical. Uh, I'm not sure if I would will use this. If I go, of course, custom loop with which is the original plan. Yeah. I will more definitely do that, but yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, moving up still, we have the exhaust fan, similar to, to the one up front, no RGB stock will, uh, will be removed, of course. Uh, looking at, uh, at the motherboard uh, area, you see that the, the spacers have uh, already been uh, screwed in place, so it's okay. Uh, and if we zoom in hopefully i can uh, i can zoom in enough for you to see uh, the different types of of motherboards that uh, um, this uh, case, uh, case can fit are already uh, mentioned here so you have aatx micro atx itx e itx or extended itx as well but uh, and also here you can see that you have uh, the various points, so you have an E, A, R, A, T, X. Uh, uh, most likely this is for uh, for the for extended uh, ATX uh, motherboards. Um, ex uh, looking around still, we see here a very nice, very interesting shroud. Uh, that basically, again, it can be used for, um, for hiding uh, uh, various um, cables. Um, also, uh, as you saw at the back here, and you'll see later, there is uh, a lot of ventilation. Uh, and you might be thinking, well, why the hell do we have this, uh, this ventilation at the back here? Well, uh, for once, uh, you can remove the shroud, 
and the fans can have free access or uh, the fan as you can see is slightly uh, angled so uh, if you leave it on the fans can the, the air from the fans that is generated is read uh, directly to the motherboard whatever you would like to to have again i will uh, remove this in my, my build uh, and the last thing here uh, you have the the cutout for um, for the soft, basically for the motherboard, for the back plate, uh, and also a couple of uh, places here uh, for HDD, SSD, and so on. But we look, uh, we have a look uh, at the back. Okay, let's turn this case around and uh, see what we get uh, on the other side. As I notice right now, we have some gr uh, rubber feet, which uh, which are nice. You have uh, very well uh, the case itself because of the feet is uh, well uh, lifted from uh, from the ground. That's interesting. Oh my God, these are screwed in very tightly. But again, we have to push here, just swivel, and basically pull. This uh, side panel is a little flimsier, but it does have uh, some uh, some mesh over the the ventilation. Not sure how you put the pull this off, but yeah, very easy just magnets uh, you just pull it out very very easily let's put it to the side again so uh, what's very interesting with uh, with this case you have a door a uh, side panel that opens and reveals a door which uh, might be confusing at first but yeah let's tear this out bottom again and this one as well okay so the the scope of this door is basically to to help you hide the cable uh, at the left here let me also zoom out so you can get a better uh, better view of the of the case so here are a couple of uh, fans uh, location you could remove it I will most likely um, uh, install a radiator next this is I think yes again magnetic love to see it everything is magnetic so this is where Corsair hides the cables or the place for uh, where we would like to hide the cables so you have here a uh, controller for the fans that we will uh, we will use you see here again something i have not seen on uh, lower end uh, um, cases that have been using in the past uh, cable ties already some form of cable management and of course the all the available uh, connections here if you remove this This is the, the secondary shroud uh, that will replace the one that I previously showed you. So what does this do basically? Uh, it allows you to have a lot more room to, to work with. Of course, if, uh, if you need it, if you have radiators there that are uh, quite, quite big. Again, this, this is plastic. So uh, yeah, metal would have added uh, additional, uh, additional weight to, to the case. Okay, what else we have here? If we uh, have a look down here, you would see that you get some S uh, HD uh, trays. Uh, a little awkward to, to remove. What I am not seeing, let me see if uh, this is into, into focus. What I'm not seeing with these trays, um, Basically everything is 
hard plastic so um, yeah nothing to uh, basically dampen and what I would have loved to see were some uh, some rubber uh, uh, around the the case it's uh, the the tray itself um, so yeah I do have uh, two uh, terabyte hard drives so I will be installing this we'll have to see how the noise the vibration basically uh, how the case handles the, the the vibration caused by the spinning uh, hard drives uh, what you have here are two of them so, let's see if I can get this out you also have here another one with also the Corsair uh, accessories box okay so it looks like huh, the the box was actually had some uh, was tied down basically so what do we get here let's have a uh, have a look so you basically get your uh, your screws your grommets some uh, some additional spacers yes again some uh, some connectors and love to see it you have a bunch of bunch of these cable ties so everything here it's basically cable ties so i will put this uh, this back together i'm not going to completely open it because i'm not going to start the build right now Let's put it back in its place. So that's uh, that's that. So you have this. These are the. This is the power and uh, all sorts of other connection. The uh, the power LED and uh, and so on. So I uh, just put this back here as well. Uh, here, this is where the the power supply will do, will fit. If you look here at the bottom, you will see the the mesh, the filter for uh, for it. Always, uh, I always found it very hard to, to put them back together uh, at this location. You have the SSD uh, um, uh, mounting places, so HD, HDDs at the bottom, SDDs, S, uh, SDs, S, solid state SDD uh, at uh, at higher here. Okay, so the last thing here would be the, the fan controllers that we will be using and a lot of uh, uh, holes basically for um, a lot of holes for uh, for the cable management. And also here some uh, some rubber grommets for cable management for the cables to, to pass uh, pass through. So let's close this again. Magnetic, very very nice. So at the bottom we have ventilation here. We have the output fan, uh, of course, ba because these are uh, uh, elongated. Basically, you can uh, uh, move, reposition the the fan up uh, up and down. So that's good. You have the I/O slot. Again, the graphic card. The vertical graphic card and the the motherboard the the sorry the power supply uh, at uh, at the bottom as you can see. With that being said, guys, uh, thank you very much for uh, for watching. This was the initial unboxing of the Corsair 5000D. This is the first piece that uh, 
the first component in my uh, upcoming build. So please stick around for uh, additional unboxings. And uh, when we have everything uh, together, we will start uh, building our systems and I'll share each step uh, with, uh, with you guys. So uh, stick around.